At Bay Area Lyme Foundation, our motto is making Lyme easy to diagnose and simple to cure. And so we fund research in order to um, help under, better understand Lyme disease, find better diagnostics, and find better treatments. And the organization was originally started because of a group of friends who um, ended up having Lyme disease and wanted to find out more information because there's not a lot of information out there. And there's not a lot of information out there because there's not a lot of research that's been done. And so Bay Area Lyme started to change that. When you're preparing to go out on the golf course, it's good to wear light colors because it's easier to see ticks. It's great to wear um, some kind of um, tick insect repellent and also spray your bag with um, something like permethrin um, and you can even buy permethrin clothes that or spray your clothes with permethrin and ticks don't like permethrin and so they'll avoid it and so that's a good way of making sure that you're not bringing ticks home with you it's a good way in your bags and it's a good way of making sure that you're not carrying ticks on your clothes the best way to prevent Lyme disease is to avoid getting bitten by a tick. And some of the ways to avoid getting bitten by ticks include staying out of high grasses. Um, so staying on the green is better than going into the tall grasses. Um, but also um, tick checking, that's really important. So when you come in from being on the green, you wanna check for ticks. And when you, to check for ticks, they can be really small. So ticks can be the size of the period at the end of a sentence in a Word document. And so you wanna look very carefully um, everywhere in your body, in crevices, between your toes. Um, you wanna check everywhere, because ticks crawl around on your body, and so they might be in places that weren't exposed to the grasses or to other areas. And so what you wanna do is after three, T tick check whenever you come in and then tick check again three days later um, because they may have swole, the ticks may have swollen and be easier to spot. But it's really important that you also know the symptoms of Lyme disease because sometimes you don't see the tick. And so knowing the symptoms of Lyme disease is important. So the symptoms of Lyme disease include um, flu-like symptoms like a fever, headache, um, tiredness, fatigue. It can also include joint pain. And sometimes, not everyone gets the bullseye rash. A lot of people talk about Lyme disease having a bullseye rash, but not everyone gets the bullseye rash. Um, but it is something to keep an eye out for.